the violet. Once, long ago, down the hill and in the meadow by a great forest, there lived a little field mouse. He lived very well in a nest among the roots of a big old cherry tree. One morning, after a long and lonely winter, he woke up to a sunny day with birds singing in the trees. Little Mouse went out and saw that the grass was greening and the birds were weaving nests in the top of the cherry tree. Ah, said Little Mouse with a smile, spring is here at last. The sun was warm on his fur and he ran through the meadow to find some spring friends. He ran here and there but saw no little ladybug or friend caterpillar. Well, where indeed is spring, wondered the mouse, and he went back to his nest in the roots of the big old cherry tree. That night, as he went to sleep, he prayed to the fairy of spring to bring friends to his field, for he was a lonely little mouse. As he slept, the spring fairy came to him, kissed him gently, and whispered, Do not worry, little mouse. I am bringing a new friend for you this year. And she flew over all the meadow, breathing warmth into the earth, reminding winter it was time to go. The next morning, little mouse woke up and went outside. Something was different. In the grass near his tree was a new, fresh, strong green stem pushing through the earth. Hello, said Mouse. Will you be my friend? But the green stem stayed quiet and shy. Mouse didn't mind. He hurried and scurried all around, clearing away old winter leaves and dry autumn grasses. He made a clear, clean spring meadow to welcome his new friend. Welcome, little friend. Would you care for a cup of tea? Mouse would say to the timid stem. Every day he had tea with her and kept the meadow house neat and tidy. And every day it seemed as if she was less timid and grew taller in the earth house. Mouse loved his visits with his new friend and would sit with her for hours, showing her the sun in the sky. The sun shone warm on the green stem and she seemed to like the sun. She grew a little taller. Mouse told her about rain and the pitter-pat of raindrops washed her green dress clean. Little stem liked rain and grew leaves. Mouse was happy to share the beauty of the world with little Stem. He did not mind that she was so shy and quiet, for she was loyal and stayed with him every day. One warm spring morning, Mouse went outside to greet the little Stem, and much to his surprise, a beautiful purple girl greeted him right back. His shy little green stem had become a spring violet, and oh, how sweet was her perfume. As Mouse looked past her, he noticed many purple girls all through the meadow. The whole world smelled of sweet violets. Mouse ran from one to another, welcoming them all. Spring had arrived with many new friends for Mouse.